what is a clause? I'll try to make clear here uh, what a clause is in comparison to a phrase and in comparison to what is a sentence. So to begin with, a clause is a word or group of words ordinarily consisting of a subject and a predicate. And at this stage of this grammar module, I will state that a clause must have must have both a finite verb within the predicator and a subject. So let me say that again. A clause must have a finite verb within the predicator and its subject. Now let's look at some examples here. In one and two here, uh, the clause has both uh, a subject, the dog, and there's a finite verb here, was. Was running is the predicator, and was is the finite verb there. And so this qualifies to be a clause. You can see it has a sense of completion. You can stop there. The dog was running through the yard. And in two, Alexander is a wonderful boy. So these are both clauses. We, all can, we can say that these clauses are also sentences. Now, how do you define a sentence? A sentence begins with a capital letter and ends with a full stop. And it has a sense of completion in the utterance there. So here, the clause is a sentence. And these we call simple sentences because there's only one clause in that sentence. Now let's move on here. The most basic kind of sentence consists of a single clause, as we've just seen. However, there are more complicated sentence structures, and they may contain multiple clauses. Uh, in fact, you can have clauses within clauses. Let's look at some examples again. So I'm distinguishing here the difference between a sentence and a clause. Here, the child is a subject. Silenced is the predicator. Silenced somebody. This is a direct object. Then there's a what is called a conjunctive conjunc conjunction. And what this does, it glues together two clauses, because then you have another one. She is a subject. Started is a predicator. Something. So here, in three, you have a full stop, and you have uh, a capital letter. So that's the what it distinguishes it to be a sentence, but within the sentence you have two clauses joined together by this word here, and. Um, we'll, we'll look at 3a in a moment. If we look at 4, what we've done now is, is she silenced the crowd, that's one clause, and she started singing, that's another clause. But in this case, there is another kind of construction here because of this subordinating conjunction after. So instead of having, uh, as in three, you've got two clauses and they're of equal value, one thing happened after the other, because of this word here, after, uh, this is what is called um, uh, a, um, a, a complex sentence. And the reason for this is because you've got um, two clauses and this one here is dependent on on the other one because you can't stop here after she silenced the crowd you can't stop there it's dependent on the other one for a sense of completion now let's focus our attention on 3a here earlier on I said that um, a clause must have both a finite verb and its subject and so here in 3 you have the child silenced the crowd and she started singing but as humans, we're very efficient when we speak, and this has been ellipted. It's been not included in 3A. The child silenced the crowd, and she started singing. The she is unverstopt. It's ellipted. It's there, but uh, efficiency in, in our speech means that we don't include it, or in fact, even in our writing. However, this here is... Uh, a sentence with two clauses because we accept that this refers to the child here. We only do this when the subject uh, is missing 
um, not the predicate. Uh, so that's to distinguish a sentence from a clause. Now let's look at how a clause differs from a phrase. If we again look at example one here, the dog was running through the yard, this is uh, a complete clause. Um, in fact, you could actually say the dog was running here, and through the yard is an adverbial. However, <clears throat> here, within this clause, the clause is made up of parts. It's made up of the dog. That's the function of the dog. is It's, the, it's a subject. However, uh, how is it realized? It's realized as a noun phrase. So you have the dog. Was running is the predicator, and it's realized as a verb phrase. Through the yard is an adverbial, and it's realized as a prepositional phrase. And the yard is, this part here, is a noun phrase. Um, and it this noun phrase is within the prepositional phrase. So I hope this has been helpful for you. Now, later in this grammar module, uh, we'll also be looking at something called a non-finite clause. But we leave that for the time being. So just for now, we work with the definition that a clause, I go back up to the top here, we work with the definition that a clause must have both a finite verb and its subject. Um, but we keep in mind that sometimes, as in 3a, the subject might be ellipted.